Private server licenses allows you to manage your licenses stored in a centralized server through your internal office network. In this video, I will be showing you how you can set up your Altium private server licenses for the very first time and also how to upgrade your licenses upon subscription renewals. For the initial setup on your license server machine, please first go to live.altium.com through your internet browser. Then log in using your Altium Live account and enter the downloads page. In this page, look for the private license server and download the installer. You can then run the application and just use the default next for all the window prompts. Upon installation, you will then start the security service through the taskbar. You will then go into its settings to enter its application, where in this window, you can hit on activate to start the activation process. Log in using your Altium Live account again and select the license that belongs to your account which you would like to activate. Once you have hit on Activate License and OK, please then ensure that the service has started and launched Altium Designer on your client machine. You will need to know your IP address of your server machine. If you don't know, please check it by going into your Start menu and look for your command prompt. You should always run command prompt as administrator if you want it uh, to be run as with administrative privileges. You would then use the ipconfig slash all in order to get the IP address of the server machine. Please jot this IP address down and share it with your clients uh, who are trying to access your server machine. Then enter that address in your setup dialog on Altium Designer on your client machine. The default server port will be 21001. You can then see all the licenses that is hosted by the server and activate the license in the Altium Designer environment. We will now talk about how we can upgrade our old Altium Designer licenses every time we have our subscription renewed. In order to do that, when you first use Altium Designer, say 2016, you will get the notice saying that this installation is not supported by the subscription of this license. So what you would have to do is go onto your server machine and open up that private license server application where you would then delete the licenses that already have subscription expired. Then hit on activate to and log in with your Altium Live account and you would then choose the Altium Designer license that you would like to use. Make sure that the subscription status is correct and valid you would then hit on activate license and hit on OK. And then once again, make sure your service has started. Once you have all that configured, click on OK and go back to your client machine. You can then reset up or you can reconnect to your private license server by hitting on refresh and just activate the license. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you have all your Altium Designer licenses up and running.